continue talking about yeah, the uh, Paralympics. So, <laughs> uh, and great news again, Britain's swimmers have continued to make a splash in the Rio Paralympics, winning a total of seven medals in the pool last night. Breakfast Jane McCubbin is at the Manchester Aquatic Centre, also known as the home of para swimming. And it's your home this morning. Hi, Jane. I'm upset with you. <laughs> you will <laughs> promise you have to go see them later. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for that, Jane. It is 7.41. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News. That was, did the time well there, didn't it? Well done. Uh, the main stories for you this morning. The temperature is going up this week. Carol is out and about at the Greenwich Observatory this morning, taking a look at the weather. The Beautiful shot today, Carol. Morning. Next few minutes. So have a listen. You make up. Oh, no, she probably doesn't make up worse. <laughs> no, like he's never. <laughs> We'll find out Sometimes later. Sometimes she does. Uh, because that's exactly what we're talking about, made-up words, because Roald Dahl uh, was famous for them. Yes. And today, some of those he made up, like Oompa Loompa and Scrum Diddly Umptious and Witching Hour, have all been put into the Oxford English Dictionary. Apparently, uh, he's not the only one to invent words. We've asked some young fans to tell us their favourites. Yeah, so I wanted to ask you both, oh, who do you think, out of our British top acts, were the ones who, uh, who sold the most? Adele. Yeah. Ed Sheeran. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, this is one, direction, one, one and two. Direction, one direction. Do you know what? Should we give you the top five? Let's have a look because you two are too good. <laughs> Steph, Could catch you. on that. <laughs> I might patent that. At seven fifty-two. Now it's a domestic abuse storyline that's kept Radio Four listeners gripped for the past two and a half years. Five million Archer fans have heard Helen Titchener slowly lose her identity as her husband Rob took control over her life, isolating her from family and friends. It ended with Helen stabbing him and last night in an hour-long special, listeners heard the jury give their verdict on whether or not she was guilty of attempted murder. If you don't know, want to know what happened, just go away for a couple of minutes, <laughs> have a cup of tea. Uh, we joined a group of Archer super fans as they tuned in on BBC iPlayer and the programme is of course on Radio 4 every day except Saturday. Um, later on breakfast <laughs> we'll be joined by Timothy Watson who plays of course Rob so much centre of that storyline. Yeah and keep sending in your made up words. We'll talk about this a little bit later on. Some absolute beauties coming in. I like this one from Billy the Big Red Bus. He says my made up word is irrigant. I use it for people who are both irritating and arrogant. So we love that one. In, yes. We do. Uh, time now, more of those, please do send them in. Time now to get the news, the travel, and the weather wherever you happen to be watching us. Good morning, one and all. It's Monday, the 12th of September. Also on breakfast. Talking a little more about that shortly, but Britain's Paralympians won a total of 21 medals on day four of the Games in Rio. Richard Whitehead powered his way to gold on the athletics track, and teammate David Henson was just behind him claiming the bronze medal. Uh, there were also gold medals in rowing, cycling, and swimming for Para GB, as Patrick Geary reports. To be up there. Yeah. near the top of the table, isn't it? Now, company executives could be held criminally responsible if their employees commit financial crimes, including money laundering and fraud. This is under new laws... ...seized after an incident at a, chic temple, uh, at a Sikh temple in Leamington Spa were for ceremonial use. ...who was speaking to us here on Breakfast about an hour and a half ago were warn businesses later today that they'll have no place to hide if they treat their staff poorly. Uh, she's going to tell delegates at the organisation's annual conference in Brighton that the exploitation of workers is becoming more widespread. Our political correspondent Ian Watson is in Brighton for us this morning and a real concern for the TUC apparently. Morning. Well, thank you. Thanks, Ian. More than 200 religious leaders, including the former Archbishop of Canterbury, Rowan Williams, are calling on Theresa May to do more to help refugees fleeing war-torn nations. They've Detectives investigating the murder of Stephen Lawrence are making a fresh appeal for information after the DNA of a woman was discovered close to where he was killed. The teenager was stabbed to death by a group of white men in a racially motivated murder back in 1993. Here's our home affairs correspondent, Tom Simon, about this, probably because Rightly they feel so. the pictures are, are damaging enough. Even Rightly though he so. said if it's just pneumonia, then she should be he able is, to recover. He is being quiet. We'll see if he stays that way. Yeah, OK. Thank you very much. Lovely to talk to you as ever. Thank you. Um, it's 16 minutes past eight. Uh, temperatures are set to rise again. Carol has mentioned a 31, and she's out for us this morning at Greenwich. Morning. It's looking lovely there.
You know, I mean, you, you'll be well aware there's been statements from the Association of British Bookmakers. I'm not going to read the whole one, because, but just let's, uh, we must put their point. Uh, any review of fixed odds betting terminals should be evidence-based, not unfairly penalise the majority who gamble responsibly and enjoy their leisure pursuit. And there's also a statement from the Department of Culture, Media and Sport. We'll continue to monitor the effectiveness of existing gambling controls and we'll take further action if necessary. Yeah, they wouldn't come on yeah. TV and talk about that. Um, the, what I'm interested as well, um, from your point of view, is that having seen these changes in the brain, did it help you as well understand um, in some ways more about... And there's no support. Wendy Bendel, thanks very much for coming to talk to us. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very much thanks. indeed. Thank you, well done. I know it's very yeah, okay. emotional. <laughs> you can see you're very angry by it as well. Uh, Thank you so much for coming to the programme. And you can watch BBC's Panorama, Why Are Gambling Machines Addictive? Tonight, it's on BBC One at half past eight. Also, as well, uh, for organisations uh, which offer advice and support, you can visit Panorama's, web, Panorama's website at bbc.co.uk forward slash panorama. Right, it's 8.27. Time to get some news, some travel and some weather wherever you're watching this morning. We'll see you in just a few minutes' time.